JavaScript is a prominent language that has been serving the server side web application development since ages and with each passing day the popularity of JavaScript and its frameworks are growing drastically. Now in today's market the front end application development is mostly dominated by powerful and dynamic JavaScript frameworks like Angular and React JS along with an emerging framework called Vue.js. Now deciding on the best JavaScript framework can really be an overwhelming task. What's more, these are just a few of the many new kids of the blog. Now to help you guys out of this dilemma and unveil the best among them, I, Shantani, on behalf of Edureka, bring you this ultimate face-off between React, Angular and Vue. So without any ado, let's get started. But before we begin our face off, let me brief you upon each of these technologies, which are React JS, Angular, and Vue.js. So, first, I will be talking about React. Now, React is a component based library which is used to develop interactive UIs. It is currently one of the most popular JavaScript front end libraries, which has a strong foundation and a large community supporting it. Since everything is a component in React, you can easily change any component at any point in time without affecting the rest of the application. Now it was first implemented Facebook in 2011 after which Facebook's UI underwent drastic improvement. This resulted in satisfied users and a sudden boost in its popularity. Next, let's talk about Angular. Now Angular is a TypeScript based JavaScript framework that has been developed and maintained by Google. Now Angular is a complete rewrite from the same team that built Angular JS. But let me tell you that Angular is completely different from Angular JS. Now Angular is exceptional at executing complex tasks and handling dependencies. It is specifically designed to help developers build SPAs, that is the single page applications, in accordance with best practices for web development. Moreover, AngularJS is a structural framework for dynamic web apps. Now finally, coming to Vue. Now Vue is a progressive framework that is heavily used for building interactive user interfaces. Now unlike other monolithic frameworks, Vue is designed from the ground up to be incrementally adoptable. It was developed by Ivan Yu who was working for Google. It can flawlessly power up the sophisticated single page applications when used in combination with modern tooling and supporting libraries. So we can conclude that Vue is pretty good for a new framework. Now Vue.js is good, but let's find out whether it is able to stand up against Angular or React. So in this face off, we will be comparing all the three frameworks on the following grounds. The architecture type, DOM, application type, language preference, scalability, ease of deployment, data flow, learning curve, market trend, and the community. So now let's get into the detail with the first comparison factor, that is the architecture type. Now starting off with React, it is a front end library. The main problem of this library is the fact that there is no division into the MVC, that is the model view controller, MVW, the model view whatever, or the MVVM, the model view view model structure. It eventually complicates the development process and makes it time consuming. But when it comes to Vue, it provides a proper MVC architecture. It provides the developers with a template which is presented in the form of directives and filters. Now this approach results in a more readable code and reduces the bug occurrences. Now finally we have Angular which follows the MVW architecture. Here it separates the application logic from its UI representation. As a result, we get a modular solution which several development teams can use simultaneously and with the same data. So here I would say architecture wise Angular takes the lead. Next we will be comparing these frameworks based on the DOM manipulation. Document object model or better known as DOM is the programming API for HTML and XML documents. It basically defines the logical structure of documents and the way a document is accessed and manipulated. Now when it comes to the deployment speed and efficiency, DOM plays a major role. Now Angular uses the real DOM, whereas React uses the virtual one, which is nothing but the lightweight copy of the actual DOM. 
Vue also uses the virtual DOM like React, but it does it with a little more filigree. Now this makes React faster than Angular, but a bit slower than Vue. Now moving on to the next factor that is the application type. When it comes to applications, Angular is majorly used for the development of native apps, hybrid apps and web apps on a large scale with rich features. On the other hand, React is used for the development of SPA and mobile apps. Now it is more suitable for modern web development and native rendered apps for iOS and Android. Now coming to view, it is generally preferred for the development of advanced SPA and started supporting native app. It is perfectly ideal for web development and single page applications. Now next factor that we have as a comparison ground is the language preference. Now starting off with react, it is written in JavaScript and makes use of JSX, which is neither a string nor HTML according to the official documentation. It allows developers to create react elements and it is a syntax extension to JavaScript. Now talking about angular angular is written in TypeScript uses enhanced HTML. On the other hand, Vue differs from both react and angular framework as it gives separation of concerns and enables developers to write styles scripts and other things in an ordered manner. It is written in JavaScript and uses HTML templates and JavaScript for application development. Since all these three frameworks are component based, you can easily reuse components whenever required across the application. Next, we will compare these frameworks based on their scalability. Now, Angular provides scalability with its modular development structure, while React uses a component based approach with equally superb results. But when it comes to view, it faces a major disadvantage in this domain. Since it uses a template based syntax, it becomes pretty much difficult to embed into this application. Especially in a large application, templates become increasingly more difficult to reuse as compared to JavaScript components. So here React and Angular take the lead. Now the next factor we have is ease of deployment. React is more flexible than Angular because Angular is a full framework, whereas React is a set of independent, faster, and evolving libraries. Now, this makes the move from development to deployment the hardest. React is easier to work with where you just need the proper workflow that optimizes your application. Now, similar to React, Vue also makes the deployment of your app easy where you just have to add an import into your app. So we can conclude that Vue and React are probably easier when it comes to the task of moving from development to deployment. Next, we will see how these frameworks manage the data flow. React and Vue follows one directional data flow. It means throughout the application, the data flows in a single direction, which gives you better control over it. Whereas Angular follows two directional data flow. It increases the Angular apps complexity making it tough to understand and also implement. Now the next point of comparison we have is the learning curve. Angular and React have their own approach for doing things, but when it comes to Vue, it is considerably easy. Now the main reason why most of the companies are switching to Vue is because it is easy to work with and adapt. When working with Angular or React, you need a good understanding of JavaScript and third party libraries. Now it gets more troublesome with the increase in the size of the application, but Vue fastens the learning curve for developers with single file components that make it way easy to scrutinize the code base. Thus, Angular has the steepest learning curve. Then comes React and the shallowest curve is of Vue. Next we have is the market trend. Well, being the oldest in the stack, Angular gains favor of 51.7% of developers, whereas React being comparatively younger is embraced by 66.9% of surveyed developers. Now Vue is the newest in the stack and hasn't gained much of popularity as yet, but it definitely holds the ability to participate in this battle and it won't be surprising if Vue takes the lead in the upcoming years. Finally, the last but definitely not the least factor of comparison is community support and growth. Being JavaScript frameworks, all of these technologies are supported by a huge and active community, which is continuously working towards their betterment. Now officially, React is powered by Facebook and Angular is maintained by Google. 
Frequent updates don't come as news for these frameworks. As you can see a major update release in every six months or so. View once again falls a little behind in this. Although we see that the view community is very passionate about view. It's still a small player in the market, but I would suggest you it is good to keep an eye on it. Now with this we come to an end of this face off between react angular and view. Now there won't be any final verdict as to which among them is the best as each one of these excels in a different field. But if you ask for my opinion, I personally feel that react works best for me, but it's not necessary that you feel the same way too. So do let us know what you think and which is the best framework among react angular and view in the comment section below. That's all for today's session. Thank you and happy learning.